Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some MTGO. We're doing something different today, something fun. We're doing some Popper Mill. We're gonna see how this deck goes. Uh, this is a deck I created. Uh, I haven't seen a deck like this out there uh, right now. It's a very aggressive uh, mill deck, uh, kind of similar to my Pioneer deck. I like having creatures in the mill. Um, and we've got a lot of good ones in Popper still, so, uh, including Secret Keeper, Jace's Phantasm, I'm gonna go over the rest of the deck list, but it, it grinds pretty fast, uh, it's still a little slow from some of the testing I've been doing, so we're gonna see how it goes today and see if we can't, uh, mill someone out, uh, but let's go over the deck list. One big thing that I don't have in this list is a pretty important Popper Mill card that a lot of people use whenever they make a popper mill deck which is jace's erasure i hate this card i hate it it's not great uh it's whenever you draw a card they mill the top of their library one card it's so bad it's so slow i've only ever seen it mill me like twice or three times in a game for a two mana enchantment when we can have one mana plays that'll mill you for five immediately it is so not worth it and the card draw advantage thing is just it's never successful in my opinion so i don't have jace's erasure in here uh instead we do have some card draw to just make sure we're churning through our deck and getting out our bigger mill spells we've got three brainstorms and four ponders um maybe you'd switch those i don't know i think ponder is a little bit better than brainstorm to some degree but they're both very good uh scries into our deck basically and gets us a card so Good stuff. Uh, one couple cards that I don't see played very often is Dream Twist. It's a good card. It's uh, target player puts top three cards of their library into their graveyard, and then it's got a flashback for two, which means we can play it again from the graveyard. Um, good card. I think I think it's pretty strong. Jace's Phantasm uh, gets a plus four, plus four, as long as the opponent has ten or more cards in their graveyard. Starts as a one one, and then it goes up. So this is like our our gargoyle of the deck, basically, our Vantress gargoyle. Merfolk Secret Keeper, obviously we got the Venture Deeper, Mill 4, and then put out a nice wall. Uh, very good card. And then we have, this is where I want to possibly switch it up, and this is, the sideboard's not super complete right now, it's just a bunch of nonsense in the sideboard that <laughs> maybe won't be super relevant since I'm still playtesting it, but right now we have Drowner Initiate uh, for an extra mill advantage creature, and I want creatures in the deck, at least some. We've only got 11 right now, I'd like to even get to... 15 if we can i just don't know what i'd cut for that and i'll tell you why in a second but we got drowner initiate and it's uh whenever a player casts a blue spell you may pay one if you do it puts the top two cards of their library in the graveyard so whenever blue spell gets played if we got the extra mana open this is kind of like a hellbent card we play and stuff tossing out there we got extra mana you just mill them for two mill them for two um pretty good thought scour another card draw outlet mill for two and then we draw a card easy enough Tome Scour, we know this one. Uh, top five goes in the graveyard. Mind Sculpt, same thing. We know this one. Top seven goes in the graveyard. Curse of the Bloody Tomb is my enchantment of choice over Jace's Erasure. Just a little bit better, more surety. Three mana costs, beginning of Enchanted Player's Upkeep. They mill two cards into their graveyard. Memory Sluice. I like this card a lot. Target player puts top four cards of their graveyard in... Top four cards of their library into their graveyard. But it's got a Conspire cost, which means... When we cast this spell, we can cast it for its Conspire cost, tap two creatures of the same um, mana color, which would be blue in our deck. We tap two creatures, we can copy the spell and play a new spell. So we're milling for eight with this card, which is pretty dang good. If we have two creatures out, we can mill for eight. We tap both of them, we copy it, mill for eight. Uh, works pretty well, and that's why I want some type of creature base in the deck. Uh, with lands, we got 14 basic islands, one lonely sandbar just for a cycle, and then four mystic sanctuaries, uh, to start getting back our other spells. I may actually cut this down to three at another land, um, potentially, but I do want at least three mystic sanctuaries in there to get some of these back out of our graveyard if we need to, especially the big ones like Mind Sculpt and Memory Sluice. Sideboard is nothing pretty to look at right now. We got a couple Hydro Blasts for some red decks, Vapor Snags, Disperse for some creature heavy decks that we need to just stave off some life total. Shriek Geist is actually the original creature I had in the deck over Drowner Initiate, and then I 
was looking at other cards and I found Drowner Initiate and I put him in instead. Shriek Geist is a flying and whenever it deals combat damage, they mill too. It's a 1-1 one, one flyer, so it could easily be taken care of, I'm sure. Easily blocked in the sky if they've got a flyer. Uh, so I just felt like Drowner Initiate, I was going to test him out first and see how he plays. Full play set of Counterspell, gotta run it, gotta run it. I just got an extra Curse of the Bloody Tomb. Again, sideboard is not the best of the best. One other change I'll talk about here uh, that I'd like to put in as far as creatures go, but I haven't done so yet, is if we can make all our islands snow permanents. I'd love to be able to play with Iceberg Cantrix. Cantrix. Whenever a snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, target player mills two. It's a 0-4 wall crab creature uh, from Modern Horizons. I'd love to be able to put at least three of him in the deck. I think it'd be really nice if we had all our islands be snow-covered islands. I didn't purchase the snow-covered islands yet, uh, so I'm leaving them out, obviously. But it's something I could potentially want to put in to get our creature up to creatures up to like 15, uh, if we want to. Again, I, I wouldn't know what to cut. Maybe we just cut the Curse of the Bloody Tombs and do the Cantrics and just leave all our other spells. That might be a potential. So we'll see. We're playing with 19 lands altogether. I don't think this deck needs to operate on more than that. Uh, and so far it's been working pretty well from the couple games I've played. Uh, all our stuff is two mana, one mana plays besides the Curse of the Bloody Tomb, um, which we've only got three of. So everything is going to be pretty easily played no matter what. So with that being said, that's the deck. Uh, I don't Let me know if you guys seen anything like this. I haven't. I haven't seen a... Uh, Anything like this one. Oh, we do have Thought Collapse. I actually wanted to bring in Thought Collapse into this deck because it is a mill counter spell, but we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll put one of these in the sideboard, sure. I just got a bunch of freaking counter spells on the sideboard. I don't know how good that is, but obviously, like, just counter spell is great and Hydroblast is good, but anyways, hopefully, uh, you guys, uh, are liking the deck, but let's go find us a match and see how it actually operates. So let's, uh, let's find a match. All right, we found ourselves a match here, and we've already got a really flooded hand, which is kind of a bummer. So I think I will mulligan this. This is the first time I've actually gotten a flooded hand like this. Uh, typically, I have one land keepers or two land keepers. So I'm going to mulligan. I think we can do better. This is definitely better. I think we'll, uh, we'll throw a ponder down at the bottom since we got a brainstorm and a ponder. This should be fine. We're up against K. Carl. K. Carl, show me what you're working with. Uh oh, he just passed through his first turn. That's not good for him. Okay, well we got a tome scour, so that's uh pretty nice. Uh, I think we'll we'll get it cranking. We'll show them what we're we're doing here, and we'll try to see what they're on about. All right, so this is Flickertron. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, I'll bring this up for you guys to see, but it's just Flickertron. We all know this deck. Don't see a lot of people playing with this Urza's Mine, though. Alright, I'm actually just going to close that. I don't I don't need to look at those ugly-looking cards. Alright, so we can Mind Sculpt. Oops. I'm just going to keep doing this, and then we'll start getting some card draw going. Probably Thought Scour, and see if we can find something with that. All right, so 40 cards left. Again, this this got some pretty strong mill hitters with uh, the Thought Scour and uh, Memory Sluice, if you can conspire. Um, again, it's it's popper mill, so it's not going to be as strong as the other mills. It's not going to be as fast as the other mills, but it's still fun. It's still fun to swing in the air with Jace's Phantasm, a card that I've been wanting to play with for quite a while, and it's not Pioneer Legal, actually, so... Um, I, th I would think it is, but, uh, I think it's right before the cutoff or something. I believe, uh, when I was looking it up, it, it just wasn't. Wow, we are getting all our card draw. And an island. Okay. Well, let's ponder. Try to find something here. A dream twist. I think we're gonna put the island, secret keeper, dream twist, draw the dream twist, don't shuffle. Let's just keep getting some of the mill going. So we got a Secret Keeper coming up next, which we can play out if we need to. Nice part of going against this matchup is uh, 
We don't have to worry about their life total. We don't have to worry about their stupid flickers. We can just mill. Uh, so now we've got Dream Twist in the graveyard. We can flash that back if we so choose. Which we, we may do that next turn, actually. Maybe just do Venture Deeper, Time Twist, mill them for seven. They're about to get Tron. So things could be problematic soon. Uh, I may just want to put down Merfolk Secret Keeper just as a blocker soon. But we shall see. Kind of want... Let's ponder again, actually. Thought Scour. And another Secret Keeper. So put the island... Then we'll do Secret Keeper, Thought Scour. No shuffle, draw the Thought Scour. We can draw our other Secret Keeper. Yeah, we can do that. Let's just let's just do that. We're getting good mill going here. This is how the deck should be working. I like it. 26 cards left. We can hit him for another seven, put him to 19. And then we got our brainstorms so we can start working. Expedition. Hers is mine. Prophetic Prism. Sure, sure, sure. There's a potential for this deck to still splash green. We could go into Simic Colors and have some fog effects to really stave off any really hard-hitting opponents, which I've considered. I wanted to test out how just the mono blue would run since we do have a lot of strong cards in here first, but there is a potential for just splashing that green and uh, making sure we really stave off life totals. All right, so let's go ahead and just cast that. Let's brainstorm. See if we can find anything else. Wow. This is uh, not great. So I think we're going to do this. Ponder. Maybe shuffle our library from those two. Oh, I'll take that though. Yeah, I do want that. Oh, I said yes to shuffle. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I haven't played with these cards a lot, so I just auto-hit that. Well, we hit a Dream Twist. And we shuffled away our really good thoughts uh, Mind Sculpt, which is pretty bad. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and Dream Twist here, I suppose. So we can flash back Dream Twist twice now. That's another six. We can put them to nine. Well, all right, we're getting them close. Uh, I think it's going to be actually pretty tough for them to beat us here. This is going to be good payback for all the times this deck has beaten our slivers. You know, we can finally got them with the mill. That'll be nice. Ah, I can't believe I shuffled that away. I wanted the mind scout. We, we couldn't have played it that turn, so it kind of worked out that we got lucky and drew the, the dream twist. But I, I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> Alright, so. What are you grabbing with Mnemonic? I don't know what you're going to do here. Pulse? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Like, like I said, we don't care about their life. We don't care about attacking them. We're attacking the library. They can't stop us from doing that. It's so great. Considering what they're doing right now, I'm not worried about playing these Secret Keepers at all. Uh, memory Sluice. Okay. So I think I kind of want to brainstorm. Take a look at what we can find. Jace's Phantasm. I'm going to put these away. We're going to go Tome Scour. And we've just got the wind set up. And then we'll Dream Twist. Two. And then next turn, we can literally just play 
Our Mer Merfolk Secret Keepers, Memory Slice, Conspire, and just mill them out completely. Boom. That's it. We don't even need to do that, really. We could Memory Sluice and Dream Twist, but I'll show you how the Conspire works if they uh, don't concede beforehand. And then we'll go to a game two here. Pulse, sure. I do not care about your pulse. You gonna draw a card? Oh, you're just gonna rebound. Ephemerate, ephemerate. No one cares. No one cares about you, Tron. I don't care when I'm playing Mill. Grabbing. Condescend. Well, they're tapped out. So that condescend isn't going to do any. Oh, wait. Oh, that was at the end of our turn. Oops. All right. Condescend might help them here. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. They might they might get us for one more turn with that condescend. Let's see. Did it not like reveal it? I wanted to see it. All right. So now what are you going to grab? Ephemerate again. Sure. Do you have another condescending here? They have a prohibit. So they may just grab all the counter spells they can. All right. Now what? See, were they playing with the horror? They are playing with the horror. So they could have us discard something potentially. Do they have the mana for this? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they do have the mana. Uh, so we're going to lose an island. So they're going to just whittle our stuff down. You discard a card. Well, we're going to just discard the island. They can ephemerate and make us lose another island. It's not a bad play for them, but if they tap out to do that, then we're in the clear to mill them for, uh, for at least four. Looks like they're passing. They want to hold up that condescend. But now they got to go down a card. We're so close. Jace's Phantasm. <laughs> uh, well... We're going to Dream Twist, see if they want to counter that. Would you like to counter? Perfect. So they counter here. We Memory Sluice for four. Oh, they untap three lands with this? Oh, man. Dang, and I can't play this Memory Sluice. Oh, man, that's good. That's a good one. Okay. Fair enough. So now they got uh, their other thing up. Hmm. Well, I guess let's just see if we can give them targets for the horror. And we just got to try to set up next turn because I don't want to play into their memory sluice but we if we can get down two creatures we can conspire and copy it and they can counter one but they're not going to counter the copy and that could work so let's see what they do If they bounce our lands still, if they go after our lands, we may have to discard Jace's Phantasm. They're grabbing Pulse. They're going after the land. So I'm going to discard Jace's Phantasm here. I want the extra land to play multiple spells next turn. They can do a lot of damage to us now. They definitely can. 
Don't tell me we're four cards away and we still can't beat this ghostly flicker freaking crap. We gotta get him. We gotta get him. Crazy part is they can just keep grabbing counter spells and stuff, which is funny. That unwind was just a really good blowout for them. Swinging in. Well, I mean, we're going to take the hit. Let's see if they start bouncing them here. I really only need two mana in order to do what I need to do, and we need Secret Keeper to stay on the battlefield. And this should work. Ghostly Flicker? Hmm. Uh-oh. Got another horror? He's got another horror. Oh, dear. But if he taps out for this, then what? All right, he's got the horror, but he's tapping out. What's your play here? That's fine. Expedition. Can't crack it, so we win. Okay. So we win. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys how this, this conspire works. Now that we're in the clear. Click here, pay here, tap, tap, and conspire. It's going to copy this. We'll say same targets, and that'll be the game. I think they got greedy tapping out for that that horror. All right, they uh, they conceded before we saw the the thing get copied, but that's, that's how it works. So what's going to be good against Tron? Obviously, some counter spells. I usually just take out the curses. And sometimes like a Drowner Initiate. Do we want to Vapor Snag anything? I don't know how good Vapor Snag is actually in this matchup. Maybe we just put in one more counter spell. We just play... Get a full playset of the counter spells going. Play it like this. I, I don't know. I don't know really how good like a bounce is against a Tron deck that just likes to bounce stuff and put them back into play anyway. So I don't think it's going to be super helpful. Um, so we're just going to play it as such. We got our first game. Let's see if we can get our second. This is a good hand. I can dig this. Dream Twist into a Mind Sculpt. Then we start, like, holding up some counter spells. So we'll have a few turns. <coughs> Alright, passing to me. Oh... There we go. Let me get to my draw step, please. Jace's Phantasm. Not bad. Not bad. Pass. Hit a Mnemonic and a Ghostly Flicker and a Tron Land. That is fine. Pass her this turn. Can't do anything. See if they play a... Uh, all right, so no. Oh, oh, I thought I was skipping through my turn for a second there. Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna thought scour, draw a card. They may be trying to hold up a counter spell here. All right, we'll just do it like this. Cool. Now I got two counter spells. But they're pretty far away from Tron. Alright, they're going to impulse. That's fine. 44, 40 cards left. Oh, wait. Hold up. 43 cards left. Sorry. <laughs> Reading it after the impulse thing took place. And they 
have nine cards in the graveyard, which means Jace's Phantasm is going to get turned on mine pretty soon. Oh, there we go. Uh, how do I want to run this? I think we're going to go one more turn here. We'll go Jace's Phantasm, see if they want to counter that. Mind Sculpt, see if they want to counter that. They may counter this. Yeah, okay. Condescend, sure. They get to scry. So now we'll just start holding up counter spells. We'll ponder for extra spells as we go here. Uh, let's see if they actually get Tron. Uh, they still turned our guy on for that Condescend, which is funny. So we can apply some pressure, but obviously this isn't going to be the win con against Flickertron. They do have Tron, so hopefully they don't do much this turn, and we can start holding up counter spells. Definitely just going to hold up counter spells, though. Mole Drifter, okay. Another Ponder. Well, let's Ponder. Uh, I'm going to put this towards the bottom. Go like this. Say no. And we'll apply some pressure. Take them down a little bit. Unless they want to block. All right. We'll pass with the counter spell up. I think at this point we want to. Don't really want to have them drop a horror down. Hmm, looks like they... Ooh, Ulamog. Well, that's a that's a good target. We don't want Ulamog. Can you counter the counter spell? They can. Oh boy. Okay. They get it. That's a bit unfortunate. We're gonna be pretty wrecked here. Hmm. So now what? <laughs> We're going to have Annihilator 2 coming at us. Oh, boy. I think we just want to mill. Put out our Secret Keeper. Tome Scour. Just start racing them a little bit here. Uh, we'll, we'll block with the Secret Keeper on Ulamog. Probably... I have to get rid of our Jace's Phantasm on this Annihilator 2. Ah, uh, they got they got fast this game. Sure. Tower. <clears throat> Maybe we won't even block this turn. We'll see. Um, I think I'm actually just going to take the eight. Keep up two islands. Keep up Jace's Phantasm. Because maybe there's a chance we can outrace them here. If we, like, we, we need to draw another creature to block for sure, though, now. Still got their Mole Drifter that they can show. Well, now they got two. Yeah, we're pretty screwed. And just that counter spell. Let's ponder for something. Brainstorm. All right, I'm going to shuffle. Thought Scour. Draw a card. Sure. We're super done. Lonely Sandbar. We'll play it.
Now we can't attack in. Uh, yeah, we can't win this. It's all right. We'll go to game three. We'll go to game three. So maybe Vapor Snake is worth it if they're playing with like that Ulamog. I don't know. Like reduce by one here. Uh, maybe take out. Uh, maybe take out a Phantasm just because it's really not our game plan anyways. Yeah, we can try it like this, I, I suppose. Couple vapors, three counters. All right, we'll see. Yeah, we'll play first and we can keep one landers. We can do fine with one landers. So I think we'll thought scour to try to find our, our land here. We'll try to dig, dig for the land. All right, there's our land. Perfect. They brought in Pyroblast against us. Good to know. But we hit one of them. Very good. Well, that's good. We can start uh, getting our memory sluice going. Uh, but we're going to do Mind Sculpt first here while we can. There are big spells now. Then we can Venture Deeper, Dream Twist, I think I like. Ooh, that's nice. Let's Venture Deeper. Let's, hmm. Oh, we can't quite do it. Uh, so we'll Dream Twist. Gonna counter that. Oh no, they're gonna impulse, okay. And then we're just gonna play our secret keeper pass. We can play out Jace's Phantasm, Memory Sluice. Okay. Almost past my turn. What's the problem with this thing? Let's put it up up here a little bit. There we go. Alright, pass. 34 cards. That's good. I think we're at a good pace right now. I'm hoping we get into some more card draw here because we're going to start going empty handed like by next turn. <laughs> okay, there's a ponder. I say we ponder first. Another? Oh, I want all of these. Holy cow. All right. I think we're going to go Secret Keeper last. Then Tome Scour, then Memory Sluice. We'll draw Memory Sluice. No. I like this setup, though. I don't want them to counter this. <laughs> But they are. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a second before we can get our Merfolk Secret Keeper. So we could actually Vapor Snag our Secret Keeper too for extra, extra stuff. I don't really want to waste these Memory Sleuths. We're going to think about if we want to Vapor Snag our Merfolk Secret Keeper. That's what we're thinking about here. Because we're drawing Tome Scour next, then the Secret Keeper. And that'll be our, our thing for the Conspire. Passing. So I think I am going to do this. Hopefully it doesn't get, like, countered or nothing. 
But we can play everything back out here. Like this. No counter spells. I think we're in the clear. We'll get Secret Keeper next turn, then we can conspire. They're at 22 cards. I can dig it. Hopefully they don't draw any counter spells. I would like to keep away. We hit three. Okay, they played one Pyroblast and we hit two others. So, did they have a full play set is the question. <laughs> they still got their other counter spells, I'm sure. Pulse, sure. Mall Drifter, yep. Cool. So we're in the clear to really hit them for a good amount. Hit them for 12 next turn. So venture deeper. Cast it. Conspire. Hit them for eight. Uh, same targets. Say okay. Put them to seven cards so we can kill them with memory sleuth next turn if we can if we can get it we have an unknown card that we're top decking last card we knew about was the secret keeper so as long as we can get like do we have a dream twist we do have a dream twist we can play too so we may lead with the dream twist and then try to conspire just to make sure they don't have a counter spell handy. I love Memory Sleuth. And it's got Merfolk on it. Dark Merfolk, you know? It's great. Such a good one. Swinging in. Six cards in hand, they don't play anything. They're passing to me. Okay. Well, I think we're going to still do this. Dream Twist. Counter it. Please counter it. They're going to counter it. Sure. And we're going to hope they don't have one more. We're going to try to finish them off. Did we get them? Come on. Even if they do have a counter spell, they can only counter one of these. <laughs> we got them. We got Flickertron with Mill. Popper. Mono Blue Mill. Woo. Feels good. Feels good not to worry about this deck right now. And, uh... Yeah, and he just disconnected straight away. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the deck. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, do you want to see me play some more Popper Mill? Uh, to give me some advice on what you guys think the sideboard should look like. Uh, any relevant things to the meta right now that I should probably have in there. Uh, open to the advice. But what do you guys think of the, the main board? Uh, I think it's pretty strong. I like how, how it looks. Um, and... Uh, what do you guys think about adding more creatures and what you'd cut for that? I'm curious to know what you got, your thoughts are on it. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video.